Oh my Gucci Spikey Scare Rempshus Delicious Scorpio. Welcome to your love material reading. Alright, we just started the reading Scorpio, Scorpio drama. You know this is a Scorpio channel, alright? The magician flew out, alright? You're in your power, you're manifesting strong and hard, baby. Right at heart. You know we like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a Scorpio just like you, baby. Disclaimer, alright? That's why I'm talking. All right, so in the heart front behind this, you're manifesting a beautiful, stable, strong relationship. Um, today we're doing your um, general energy vibe check in love, baby. So uh, this is your June 23 energy going into the summer. I think this is definitely the summer of love. The summer of love has been the theme for us uh, in 2023. So I'm loving this energy for you. It's also Gemini, uh, strong Gemini energy. Geminis might be your friends right now, Geminis might be helpful to you, or a Gemini might come to you uh, as a teacher, or someone with Gemini energy in them, very pro very strong. Um, you're also recovering from an ending here, Scorpio, at the bottom of the deck, you know, uh, you're recovering, something has to end or had to end so that you could move on, but you understand this energy very well, baby, because you are the transformer of the zodiac, and you know that things have to end so that new things can be born. Hey, Scorpio, all right, so let's do your reading. That was just a little preemptive for cards jumping out of the deck, as they often do on this channel. So let's see what is coming through for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, Scorpio, stick around till the end of the reading for your yes or no question. We'll be doing the pendulum. Um, I don't know why I called it that. Oh my gosh, this so is All right, so also, Scorpio, um, thank you for bearing with me. I hope you're still with me. Mommy took a hiatus from the channel again. I thought I would continue posting, but I just wasn't able to because of a health issue. I had a health emergency. I've been seeking uh, kind of serious, serious medical help for, for my, ki my kidney. It's my kidney. Mm, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, TMI always on this channel, but it's also very scorpionic because scorpions do tend to, like, we rule those areas, you know, of the body. So, uh, I'm going through my own um, beautiful transformation here uh, in Cyprus, uh, the island of love. So thanks for sticking with me. I'm going to post every day now, even if it's not the full six videos, I'm going to do collective reads for us. So uh, there will be a day, at least a daily video. Also, Scorpio, you'll get your readings now. Prices are going up at the end of June. You got like Mm, I was going to raise them now, but I got sick, so I'm going to give everyone more time to order a reading now. Old pricing is in the description box below. Uh, you have at least a week to order uh, a reading based on the old pricing. Scorpio, yeah, you, you, you moved away from something that was no longer serving you. <laughs> What's crossing you is yourself, uh, the Grim Reaper. Um, you got the Ace of Wands, new beginning. I think you're on, uh, uh, on the lookout. I think you're on the hunt, baby. <laughs> Scorpios, you know how we go, all right? It's extremes. You were dedicated to something or someone, but they just, for whatever reason, you decided that you had to move away from that energy because it was almost like you said up, they said down. You said night, they said day. You know, like very contrary. The energy is very contrary. Someone didn't want to work with you. Someone's always pulling you in a different direction. It was like too much, like it was just almost too much, you know? This person didn't want to please you. They didn't want to feed you the figs straight from the tree. You were saying, B -b -b peasant, you know, pass me the fig from the tree. And they were like, no, why figs? I can feed you, but like it, it's got to be like grapes or something. Like, you know, like it was just very contrarian. The peasant was not cooperating, okay? The circus wanted to work at the, sorry, the clown wanted to, and came to work at the circus, but, you know, didn't have any training. So you, you moved away from it, Scorpio. You moved away from that. It was difficult. It could have been a difficult situation to leave. You could have felt like um, almost wild horses couldn't pull you away with this chariot energy here. But you, you know that your stars don't align with this person. And you're having a new beginning now. So now you could be on the rebound. You're dangerous, baby. Scorpio on a rebound is a dangerous force, all right? Lock up your boo-boos, baby. Scorpio's out because you're dealing with an ending here. And this is um, your strength, your energy. You're also coming into an understanding of yourself. You're also understanding what it is that you need from yourself, what it is that you're accepting and love at this time. Also, Scorpio, I forgot to do <laughs> the big intro. Uh, just to say, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot, by the way. Uh, thank you, my baby. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. You know your mommy loves you. Give me a kiss. Mm. Uh, this is a safe space for the Scorpions. Shout out to Gondora Official, another Scorpio. She's an amazing channel. She's always linked in the description box below. The background music is composed by Gondora herself, my baby, my boo -boo, my sweetheart. She's my mommy. All right. Uh, the, the tower. 
uh, at the bottom of the deck. You're in this energy also in this uh, card, Scorpio. Something ended here. I think you moved away from something. You know, this is an ending. I think you could have surprised somebody with an ending in a Scorpionic way. These energies can't switch. It's only a general reading, but you. I think you had enough of somebody's BS maybe lies or deception and weren't, weren't being 100% true to you or true with you. Scorpio doesn't like that. You just had enough and you moved away from that. And it could have been uh, a bit of a surprise to that person or they felt like if they feel like that it was like some kind of a fall. You know, they experienced some kind of a fall from the Scorpio. The sting came out. Good for you, baby. Surprise them when they're, you know, at their most ego, highest ego. For some reason, this person in your life maybe also felt like they couldn't be dethroned, like you couldn't dethrone them in some way. They thought you wouldn't dethrone them, and you did. Uh, the Seven of Chalice is coming your way. Boo -boo, this is a time of meditation. This is a time of peace. This is a time to receive messages from your guardian angels as well, from the goddess of, uh, of love, uh, the old goddess herself. You will be receiving messages, baby. The number, number seven is lucky for you right now. You, you know, the seven is also an X. So it's about, you know, the seven is the sacred divider. Uh, and, you know, almost like the seven is very magical and it is also an X. It's, it, it's about letting things go, but also piercing the fabric of reality and understanding the higher order of things and seeing things. So some of you could be, you know, receiving messages in your dreams or even seeing angels or seeing signs from angels be it numbers, be it, be it in some other way. It could be actual visions. Also, Scorpio, be careful that you do not overindulge in the party scene. If you're on a rampage right now because you're getting over a breakup, don't overindulge because it may not serve you. It may be something that you then have to deal with after. You know, you know how Scorpios get. So do party, but do it wisely. Those uh, five of cups, mm, what you're not expecting is the person that you dethroned from your love life, this person that you moved away from, um, who did not serve you. They're actually more sad than you think. You, maybe you think they're not sad, or you think that they're not suffering from this breakup, from this separation. They're actually suffering quite a bit. They're suffering greatly. I think you might hear from them in the next five hours, five days, five weeks, five months. Some of you could take a long time. You'll hear from this person at some point. And they're going to tell you just how empty their life is without you. But it's going to be too late because it's always too late. When the script is done, they're done, baby. You know that. Page of Cups. Your crowning energy. New love, new ventures, new outlook on life. If you want to do, if you're in it for the rebound, if you're in it for the love adventures this season, the summer of love season, you're going to have a lot of them. There, uh, there's one specific one that's looking very scrumptious. Let's see. Who specifically is this coming in? Mm, but this is like a love affair, baby. This is like, meow, Scorpio energy. I don't think this is a lasting relationship. I think June, going into July, you got some crazy love adventures coming in. One specific person might be younger than you. Or might be in some way like, mm, I don't know, like someone is going to be looking up to you. Like they look smaller than you to me, um, but they have a lot of passion. So whatever that means could be uh, in terms of chronological age, could be like status or something like that, but they're looking up to you. Maybe it's just a simp, simp <laughs> worshiping simp, you know? you got a simp coming in. Mm, they're going to drink up your energy, but I think to you it's going to be like more like a crazy love affair. Someone here could be falling crazy in love with you as well. Where is this going to go? Yeah. Make sure something doesn't end in tears. Okay, listen, Scorpio, I'm just saying. Make sure you don't break any hearts because I see you having... It's more than one option, but there's one a person specifically coming in, probably, maybe still in June, baby, who's going to, like, you're going to think it's... You're going to think it's just a love affair, but to them it's going to be love. Make sure you don't break any hearts and you're very, very clear about what it is that you're looking for, baby, because you got that, you know... You got that sexy on you. You got that sexy on you, Scorpio. And then uh, the summer of love ends in the sun. So, you know, your manifestations and dreams coming true. <clears throat> you know what you want. You know how to get it, baby. Go do it, Bibu. Go get it. <laughs> go get it. Um, you know, whatever you're into, go get it because it's coming. Mm. By the end of the summer, you're going to feel 
uh, more like yourself. There's something here about this person that you're uh, letting go of that you, um, they took something from you, like they took your energy or, or made you feel not good enough in some kind of a way. And the Scorpio was rising now, the Scorpio was re uh, rebirthing themselves to, uh, to come up in this beautiful sun energy. Ah. You are a creature of the desert. The sun shines upon you, baby. It's getting hot. All right. <laughs> okay. Enough of, the, enough of the sexual innuendos. I don't even know they're innuendos anymore. <laughs> okay. Let's do your yes or no question. Also, Scorpio, let me know in the comments below. This is your story. Let's do your yes or no question. For Scorpio, think of your question, and Mommy's going to set the pendulum uh, in action. Please show me angels of love. Is this a yes or a no from my baby Scorpio? It's a yes, but it might take, you know what, Scorpio? It's going to be a difficult end. Whatever it is that you're wondering about, the yes or no, it's yes. <clears throat> but it might take, for some of you, whatever it, whatever it is that you want or are wondering about, um, it's a yes, but it might take some conniving or some cunning to get the thing that you want. And then things are really going to set, uh, um, set themselves in motion. So it's a yes, but it's going to take some kind of a method. It's going to take some kind, kind of, um, I don't know, it's, I'm hearing the word conniving. You've got to do some conniving, Scorpio, all right? So do your Scorpio thing. I don't know. Babe, I love you so much. Thank you for bearing with me. I really appreciate the love that you're sending me. Uh, my health is on the mend. I need at least another week. Uh, I need to stay at home for another week, so... We'll see how it goes, baby. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Tell me also uh, what your question was. I'm always curious to hear your questions if you want to share them. Don't forget to like and subscribe or else, all right, because I can see you with my two eyes and my third eye. <laughs> and um, what else? Yeah, so for readings, it's still the, the old pricing. Get your readings now. All the information about how to get, get a reading with me is in the uh, description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay spectacly, stay good, just stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm. Give me another kiss. And every kiss, every baby.